Hello, hello, physics people. I am trying to check myself and trying to get this to you within about five minutes so that you can easily digest what's going on. So, waves. Rhythmic disturbances that can carry energy without transferring matter. So, rhythmic and its energy, just like the energy we learned previously. There are two major characteristics of waves. Mechanical waves, if it travels through stuff, it's a mechanical wave. Literally, if it travels through air, ground, let's see, water, if it has to actually, a string, if it has to move something, it is a mechanical wave. Basically, it requires a medium, and that's the thing, though, it cannot travel through literal empty space, so that's why you can't, that's the way you get the joke, no one can hear you scream in space. Here's some examples of mechanical waves and ocean waves, sound wave. People moving your wave. I can't actually show you the moving picture because of the way the recording works. So sorry about that, but I tried. The second type of wave is electromagnetic waves. They do not require a medium to transfer energy. They can travel through space. The Wi-Fi that you're probably using to watch this. The X-rays that you got when you uh, when someone broke your arm or had to take your at the dentist. Not saying anyone has or hasn't. I'm just saying it's an example. And my personal favorite is the light that's shining off of this face and making me look a little extra red than usual. That's what, those are all magnetic, electromagnetic waves. I will get to what a transverse wave means in a bit, but I just thought I'd give you those examples. All right, all right. So this one is a little different and it's a great discussion question that I'll probably post later, but there's a reason why sound travels faster in solids than in slower in gases. Well, I should put that in a discussion question later. Transverse wave versus longitudinal waves. Ah, oh, dang it. You know what? It's on my face now. I'm actually going to make sure it records now because we need to see this. All right, cool. Back to where we were. Okay, so where, yeah, transverse wave. Clicking. Come on, travel. It's not working. Never mind, a transverse wave moves up and down, longitudinal waves move side to side. Up and down, side to side, up and down, side to side. All right, I don't know why it's not working. Okay, well, whatever. But yeah, here's a, here's a much better picture. Transverse wave, longitudinal wave. Here are parts of a transverse wave. Crest, it's the top point. Trough, it's the bottom point. A wave, one wavelength is from crest to crest or trough to trough. Basically, same part to same part. A lot of people make the mistake of this being one wavelength. That it's not the same part. It is the up part, down part. It has to be up to up. So you're going from here to here. You see up to up. Not so just crest, crest, trough, trough. Amplitude. I actually wanted to cut equilibrium point first because equilibrium point is the middle of the wave. As you can see, it goes up and down and up and down, but all around a middle point. That's the equilibrium point. Amplitude is the peak, greatest value, the distance from the from the equilibrium point. It's either the distance from top to middle or bottom to middle. That's the amplitude. That's the equilibrium point. Ocean wave is a great example of a wave. Longitudinal or compression waves. It, here it just says a compression and a rarefaction. Compression is where you see it's compressed. Refraction is expanded. It's the name. I'm sorry. Here's the refraction. It's where you can see it's expanded versus compressed. The wavelength is from, but well, again, it's from same part to same part. So a compression to compression or rarefaction to rarefaction. All right. A sound wave is the, what you're listening to right now is a great example of a longitudinal wave. And yeah, you can see these now. These, these are actually are great examples of what you should actually be seeing. I do want you to note, hey, notice how that red dot isn't actually moving. You can see movement across a page, but if you actually look carefully at the dots, the dots themselves are not moving. It's a little weird like that. Electromagnetic waves do not require medium. Again, if you have any light, TV, radios, we'll have more to come on electromagnetic waves. And that's it for your content. Thank you. If you need to play this again, play it again. My conference hours are 9 o'clock to 9.45 in the morning and 2.15 to 3 in the afternoon, all on Schoology Conference. Actually, no, all on Zoom. I will, more details to come. 
there and I will make myself available to you. There will be a post in the updates so that you can see when I'm available. All right, and I um you should probably get the zoom app. Thank you and thank you for using your time to know your knowledge of waves. Ciao.